Video 7-2, Naming Chemical Compounds. The objectives we're going to look at today is how to determine an ionic compound formula. We're going to look at the crossover method, as well as some naming rules for ionic compounds. So let's go ahead and begin by looking here at this crossover method for determining ionic formulas. So our first example, you're given a lithium plus ion and you're telling to combine it with a chlorine minus ion. Well, how this crossover method works is you're going to write your lithium ion with its plus charge and it's really a plus one but we never really write one and that's being combined with a chlorine minus charge and it's really minus one. And what the crossover method says is you take this charge number, not the plus sign, just the number, and you will cross it down to become a subscript on the opposite element. Same here. You're going to take the number, not the charge, just the number, and bring it down over here. And this is to balance the charges. So our end result here is a lithium chloride compound and you do not have to write the subscripts of one and we know that my lithium plus charge is balanced with a lithium chlorine minus charge so it's a balanced neutral compound let's look at another example here magnesium combined with fluorine well now we're given here magnesium and fluorine I don't know the charge on magnesium or fluorine so I turn to my periodic table and I find magnesium, it is in group 2A or a plus 2 charge. And then I am looking for, and if we forget what our element here, fluorine. So I'm looking for fluorine. It's going to be right here. It's in group 7A minus 1. So magnesium plus 2, fluorine minus 1. And let's go ahead and write those in here so we do not forget what our charges are. Magnesium plus 2. Fluorine is going to be minus one. And I'm going to be combining a magnesium plus two with a fluorine minus one. Again, I'm going to use the crossover method. So I'm going to take the number only. Remember, just the number. It's going to come down here. I see students do this, plus two. Eh, wrong do not do that please do not put that plus sign no plus signs just the number so my number is going down there this one is coming down here and then my final compound is going to be magnesium one but I'm not going to write my subscript one F two and this two tells me there are two negatives there so it's overall for fluorine is a negative two I know my one magnesium is a plus two so overall for magnesium is plus two plus two minus two balance out to zero and that's what we want every time It's a balanced compound one last example here we're going to look at sodium combined with SO3 2 minus. You should recognize this as sulfite, one of the polyatomic ions you must know. Again, sodium is group 1A, so it's going to be plus 1 on its charge. And sulfite, you're actually given sulfite's charge as being minus 2. So sodium is just a plus. So I have sodium plus 1 being combined with a SO3 2 minus. Now, I always put all of my polyatomics in parentheses because I'm saying the compound has a 2 minus charge, not a 2 minus on the oxygen. It's the compound with the 2 minus charge. So always put your polyatomics in parentheses. Again, I'm going to practice my crossover method where I'm bringing this over here, so it's going to be a 1 this number, remember the number, not the charge, just the number, is going to be down there for a 2. So I end up with Na2 parentheses SO3. And again, 
A 2 with a positive charge is a plus 2. SO3 has a negative 2 charge, so this is negative 2. So negative 2 plus 2 cancel out to be 0. That's the crossover method for writing ionic formula.